The 18th century, a world moved at nature's pace. Travel by water, at the mercy of wind and tide. Sailing ships, majestic but slow. Journeys took weeks, even months. Rivers, vast highways, but only one way to travel, downstream. Farmers struggled, transporting goods, a logistical nightmare. Perishable items often rotted before reaching markets. The world yearned for a solution, a faster, more reliable way to move people and goods. Little did they know, a revolution was brewing, a revolution powered by steam. The whispers started in mines and factories. Steam engines, clunky and inefficient, were replacing horses. Could this power be harnessed for something greater? Inventors tinkered, some scoffed, others dared to dream. John Fitch, an American clockmaker, took the first leap. His steamboat, a curiosity on the Delaware River. It worked, but poorly, commercial failure. Yet a spark had been ignited. Across the Atlantic, Scottish engineer William Symington experimented too. His steam tugboat, a glimpse of the future. But it was Robert Fulton, an American artist turned inventor, who would change everything. Fulton, a visionary, saw the potential of steam to transform transportation. He envisioned steamboats not as novelties, but as the future of travel and commerce. Fulton's workshop hummed with activity. He studied past attempts, identified flaws and sought solutions. His design was revolutionary. A sleek hull, a powerful engine. The Clermont, as he christened his vessel, was unlike anything the world had seen. 1. The banks of the Hudson River teemed with skeptics. They called it Fulton's Folly. But when the Clermont churned to life, smoke billowing from its stack, a hush fell over the crowd. It moved. Against the current, the impossible had become reality. The Clermont's maiden voyage was a triumph. 32 hours to travel 150 miles. Unheard of, news spread like wildfire. Fulton became an overnight sensation. The world had entered the age of steam. The path to progress was not without its bumps. Early steamboats faced skepticism, even fear. Some considered them unnatural, dangerous. Accidents happened. Explosions, though rare, fueled public apprehension. But Fulton and his contemporaries persevered. They refined their designs, improved safety, and convinced a hesitant public. Slowly, skepticism gave way to acceptance. Then, excitement. Steamboats became a symbol of progress. The economic impact was undeniable. Farmers could now transport goods quickly and cheaply. New markets opened up, industries flourished. The steamboat, once a curiosity, had become the engine of economic growth. Today, the roar of steam engines has faded, but the legacy of Fulton and his fellow pioneers lives on. Steamboats ushered in a new era of transportation, connecting people and places like never before. They laid the foundation for the modern shipping industry, which moves trillions of dollars of goods across the globe. Our world, interconnected and fast-paced, owes a debt of gratitude to those early innovators. So the next time you see a cargo ship, a ferry, or even a humble tugboat, remember the steam revolution. Remember Robert Fulton and the Claremont. Remember the power of innovation to change the world. Like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories of human ingenuity.